Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And today we need to talk about the new information that we learned about this upcoming program in FIFA Ultimate Team. This promo, not program, but the Foot Future Stars promotion. And EA dropped this graphic today. It's a loading screen as you log into FIFA Ultimate Team. And these cards look incredible. Um, obviously, you see the names of these guys. We have Phil Foden, we have Vinicus Jr., and the Licht, who all are very popular uh, young players um, in the real-life stages of football in their uh, respective uh, leagues and teams. So if you see what EA Sports uh, tweeted here, we get a little bit more information about this promotion today and what it's going to be containing, but there's still a ton of questions. So today in this video, I want to be, you know, kind of speculative. I want to talk about a few things that I've seen uh, tweet wise and just the way uh, even the card designs. Uh, there's two card designs that have come out that are in the database officially. So I want to talk about that and also just a couple of theories that I have going forward. There's a lot of ideas, as you can imagine and as you may have seen, being tossed around about what exactly is going to happen with this promotion. Are these cards going to be in packs? Are they going to be SBC based? Um, are these stats going to be given to these players right away? Uh, so yeah, it's crazy. We don't know. And that's why this promo is pretty hype. And um, I want to talk maybe about some market impacts as well so again it's the future stars promotion and this is what ea sports fifa tweeted today they tweeted this picture of delict uh vinicius jr and foden and they said that these three players are future foot future stars they have to be ages 23 or younger not yet an established star by ea's uh you know by their consensus and then the ratings that they are giving them are potential future ratings with more players revealed today when this video goes out and the full ratings team on Friday when the promo drops. So obviously today when you see this stuff, there's a lot of questions that go around and a lot of those questions revolve around, well, are these players going to have the rating right away or are they going to be kind of a new promotion where we have to build up to those players ratings now if you don't already know i learned this today because i don't play a lot of madden but in madden nfl 19 there is a promotion that basically you get a player at a low rated version it's a special card it's untradeable and from that low rated version uh wow this card is already at 10,000 coins but from that low rated version uh you play games with that player throughout the year of madden ultimate team um, and that player levels up as you play a certain amount of games with it and hit certain milestones. So that's what a few people thought was going to happen with these cards when they first saw the promotion and when they saw these cards come out. They thought, okay, well, the, this Vinicius Jr. here, I'm going to have to play X amount of games or complete X amount of challenges with him to be able to um, level this card up. So right now, Delict is an 83 rated card. His base card was an 80. Um, and if that card they showed there was 92, but will that 92 card be the face stats? That's one of the big questions. Will those stats that we see on those cards actually be their face stats in the game? And if it is, that is phenomenal. I mean, we're talking about a 92 Vinicius Jr. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying his name correctly. Um, but if we look at this card, you can you just imagine what it would look like if he was 92 rated? I mean, that is an insane insane boost he's gonna have 95 six you gotta have 97 pace he's gonna have upper 80 shot 80 passing 90 dribbling and probably somewhere around high 70s or low 80s physical if they really give them a big boost to correspond with the overall rating that's gonna be an insane card and you're gonna see a Neymar probably take a hit in price because of this you're gonna see other left wings that are very popular take a hit because of this if that card actually does have a 92 rating and it's not like a live item or it doesn't change in any sort of way so we're just waiting on some new you know more information about that and you know what's going to be happening with these cards in in regards to their rating but we also have to talk about how are these cards getting onto the game are these cards getting onto the game through packs are these guards cards only going to be through sbcs and weekly objectives um, and there's been a lot of speculation going around just kind of talking about what would uh, like what's going to be going on with these players how are they going to get into the game so there's a couple things that I want to think about if, if it is pack based which right now I am leaning towards pack based right away when I saw the promotion I thought 
you know, it's probably going to be SBC based. We're probably going to see, you know, an SBC to complete these cards and then we will play games and grind with that player to, you know, help them achieve their ma max potential rating, which is what is advertised um, on, on that uh, promo we saw today. But the more that I think about it, uh, the more that I think it might be a pack based promotion although that almost doesn't make sense to me in a way because it is just after team of the year so many people just spent fifa points yes our clubs are dry but it, i don't I, it's really you know interesting from ea's business perspective if they really want to follow up the biggest promotion of the year um with another pack based promotion um, maybe not with lightning rounds or anything like that, but obviously if you have cards like that that are going to be out in the game, you're going to have to supply them in some way, shape, or form if they're going to be in packs. So that's the biggest question, whether it's going to be pack-based or SBC-based. Right now I'm kind of leaning towards pack-based, and here's why. Here's one of the reasons why. We're going to go back over to Twitter for this. Uh, FIFAnomics which has uh, usually is a person on Twitter who has access to the, I think the PC database, so he can see all of the uh, card designs that come up into the game that EA puts into their game code, uh, which technically is a leak, I guess you could say, um, but it's not like leaking the players. He is always just showing what kind of card designs they add to the database. It let, allows us to speculate a little bit um, without really being a leak uh, in my in my mind. So. We have the, this is the, the card that they showed in those uh, promos today with the Vinicius Jr., with the Phil Foden, and the Delict. They had this card design here with the, the more green. There was a lot more green around the outside of this card design. But there was a second one today that was also in the foot database, and this one has a lot less green. Um, and this, the, the reason why I see this being a pack brace promotion is because we have two different types of cards. Um, one of them being probably for the main set of cards that would go into packs, whether it be a set of 11, a set of 18, or a full 23 promo like we usually get. And then, then this card design possibly being like a weekly objective for Versalco uh, or a type of player like that. Because if we look at the team of the year card design, we'll go back to uh, the menus for this. If we look at the team of the year card design of Marcelo. So he has the blue, he has the gold, and there's the gold bar behind him. But if we go, and he has that blue background with the uh, with the fancy stuff in it, but if we go to Foot Central and go to the Daily Objectives and look at this Versalco card, I don't think it's really, it's, it's hard to see, but if you can really zoom in on the picture there, I think I can actually go into uh, SBCs as well and get a picture of this card. But yeah, there it is. There's a better picture of the card. You can see that it's basically the same design. He just doesn't have all the gold features that that Marcelo card has. So this makes me think that we'll get at least a few of these players from daily objectives or weekly objectives just based on how they've been doing the card designs this year with the main card, you know, having that extra flair. If we go back here to Twitter, you see that has the extra, uh, the lime green flair around the outside. And then this, this card is the more SBC or objective related card design with the le less flair, less colors. What other players could we see? That's another big question that a lot of people have been talking about and uh, suspecting. I have a couple uh, tweets pulled up here from um, TNF Thrives on Twitter. I'll put this uh, Twitter link in the description. I know it's not the correct card design, but this is just a similar card design as uh, the real card design is not out yet on card creator platforms. Alfonso Davies, left mid, who actually plays for Borussia um, Bayern Munich, excuse me. Um, he got transferred there from the MLS. And a lot of these cards, I think he gave plus 15 boosts to, but these are players that are, you know, they're a bit popular, but they're not stars. That, you know, people are looking for them to uh, be major prospects in the future. We have Tim Weah. And Phil Foden obviously was released today. Coutrone, there are a ton of different cards that we could be looking at and looking through um, for this Future Stars promo. You're gonna see a lot of predictions on Twitter. You're gonna see predictions uh, on Reddit and everywhere you're gonna see card predictions. Um, I'm interested to see what other cards they put out with this. Um, and it seems like it's gonna be um, a pretty, pretty hype promo. Now, I do wanna talk about a little bit of things market-wise related to this promo because even today we saw some panic selling which is absolutely this is ridiculous that Vinicus Jr. is selling for 10,000 coins right now on Xbox the UCL uh, the UCL rare card 
just because he has that hype. But uh, this year, one thing that we've seen is people like to panic sell their teams honestly at any chance they get. They they hear of a promo upcoming or they see a promo that's upcoming, EA's dropping graphics, and uh, they go and they panic sell their team. And actually today, uh, Team of the Years went took a hit. Team of the Years were down today across the board. All Team of the Years were down. Ronaldo was like 7.3. This Modric card's 3.1 earlier today, uh, which is lower or as low as he was in packs. Um, you know, I saw Marcelo at 1.15 today. And even a guy like Ramos, who has been around 2-3, 2 he was actually back down at 2-2 two, two, uh, today. So a lot of these cards drop back down today because people are seeing this promotion and they're starting to really think about it and um, maybe start to plan. And a lot of people like to panic sell this year. It's just it's just the, the way of this FIFA. People like to... They don't really regard that uh, these Team of the Year cards, they are the best cards that this game will see throughout the rest of the year. And that's something that we have to remember. Uh, these cards, there's, they're not going to get any better than this. It's icons and it's these cards right here. That's as good as it's going to get this entire year. Um, but obviously those ratings that EA dropped today with the Junior, uh, the Vinicius Junior, the Foden, and the Delict are making people think otherwise. So. Definitely watch the panic selling areas and Thursday flipping you're gonna see this video when that period is going on uh, Make sure that you are getting your cards flipped that you are getting those cards out before 6 p.m. UK Today on Thursday just to be safe um, and obviously I don't have a ton of things invested right now I actually started selling a lot of stuff early. I did have some buys today uh, from a little bit of panic selling, but I wanted to get a lot of my stuff out so I had less things that I was trying to ship out of the club uh, tomorrow or today uh, before that promotion came because I do want to be pretty liquid just in case we do see a lot of panic selling or you know they do something crazy with promotion that we were not imagining. But again, high rated golds are very high right now as well so I don't think it's a good idea to try to invest in players to um, stock up your clubs. For this S for these uh, for this promotion, just in case it is SBC related, I don't think they would make these SBCs too expensive. Oh my goodness, is Brahimi extinct? What is this? 85 rated Brahimi is 22,000 coins. So you have a lot of these high rated cards that are just uh, they are very overpriced right now. And we do have uh, Bundesliga Player of the Month still slated to come out this week. That's going to be more demand for those cards. I would just hopefully, uh, for the high rated gold sake, I hope there is a pack based promo this weekend. Uh, but it's going to be interesting either way, whether they do release these cards um, in a pack based promotion or an SBC promotion. Um, and right now, it kind of seems to be like it might be um, a pack based promotion. And even just seeing this, ages 23 or younger, it could be a full team of. 23 stars, 23 future foot stars, uh, ages 23 or younger. That'd be a lot of players, and they'd have to really dig deep probably to find a lot of talents like that. But uh, I think that would that would spice things up in FIFA Ultimate Team and make things very, very interesting. Now again, all players probably won't have as juice rating as these. These are probably the headliners, but we're going to see again today when they reveal more uh, ratings and more players what kind of stuff we're going to be seeing. So. I think the best move right now is to get your coins liquid, get your Thursday flips out. I don't have much invested, again, as I said, just because I wanted to be safe. Um, I have some investments for the UCL Live cards. Those are further down the road as we get towards um, those Champions League games in February. So I'm okay with sitting those, ha having those still sit on my transfer list. But you really want to watch again. It's going to be one of those promotions. we got to watch the uh, panic selling across the past Team of the Week informs. Team of the Year cards and other special cards that are out of packs because those cards obviously don't have any more supply. They are just out on the market and um, you know, there's no more supply coming in to make those card prices fall. So be ready for this for more information. Have notifications to the Twitter turned on my Twitter and EA Sports because usually I tweet whatever EA puts out and add some type of comment to it. Um, maybe as we could see some market movements because of that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash a thumbs up on it if you did. Comment down below if uh, any players that you want to see in this promo besides players already released. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.